The 10 Minute Drill. This is a big one. Is brought to you by Lloyd's Construction and Consulting, providing first class construction services on 1010XL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. All right, all right, all right. Sports concepts and rationalizations coming your way. We kick it around. We call it the 10-minute drill. And, Beef, at the end of the drill, what do we do? Oh, we How hook do them we drill up. them? We uh, hook them up. We're going to hook our Googan up at the end of the 10-minute drill with a family four-pack to the Spring Boat Show coming up at Met Park and Marina April 16th, 17th, and 18th. They'll get a $25 certificate towards service at Famous Auto and Tire and entered into a drawing to win a pairing into the Coastal Equipment Guggen Open Monday, April 12th at Hidden Hills. Okay. Well, baseball is back. It's the start of uh... – of the uh, Major League Baseball season today. A lot of excitement about that. Um, I think Todd McShay is dropping a mock today, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Um, I think I heard that. A we'll mock? And, you know, it's interesting. Justin Fields, uh, uh, from what I heard in McShay's mock, is falling. It's, 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 there's little things popping out about Justin Fields that are interesting, and I don't know why. And I, I, but, again, these are, sometimes it's just rumors. Sometimes there's smoke. We're a month away. Maybe this is when it starts. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm sorry. I'm digesting a what I'm assuming to be a April Fool's tweet. What do you got? David O'Brien is like a beat writer. If we've had him on before. Or, uh, no, David O'Brien's a former broadcaster, isn't he, for the Braves? Yeah. But anyway, there's a tweet out here that, um, uh, no, David O'Brien is the beat writer still. Uh, April, He's the athletic guy, right? Yeah. Braves first baseman Freddie Freeman suffered a significant wrist injury in a fall at the team hotel late Wednesday night MRI today. Expected to miss significant time to start the season. Yes. Yeah, I'm not buying that. Breaking news. I'm not buying that as a as, – and you know what? I don't – It's uh, April Fool's where it's just a uh, uh, ha-ha is one thing when it's like news that's Literally wrong. Literally breaking news. Yeah. I don't find that to be um, – I th- think that's unprofessional. When it's news, like if you say a guy fell and he's out for the year, and uh, ha, ha, April, that's not April Fools. April Fools is when you say, you know, mm-hmm. the asteroids hitting. <laughs> it's really not, or whatever. So, I is that can that be correct? Seven sixteen timestamp. I mean, seven sixteen this morning. I mean, David O'Brien is not the kind of like fool around guy. You know, no. Are you seeing it anywhere? I, I, it's, I, you know, I'm not seeing it anywhere. Oh, I've did done he break it or quick, quick research? I, I don't know. I also find it hard to believe that Freddie Freeman, world-class athlete, the MVP, fell in the hotel. I I don't know. Drunk. Yeah, fall at a team hotel late Wednesday. Really just fell, dude. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hey, man. Mike Matheny damn near cut his own thumb off. <laughs> he did. So I, I don't know. This came to me on the text line asking me had I seen this. So I'm going to so I'm gonna roll with that as a – I don't know why at 7 – Well, if it just came out, of course you haven't seen it. Well, wouldn't it be – if I searched it, wouldn't it even – wouldn't it show up or no? I don't know. I would assume so. Anyway. Uh oh. Well, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it to be true. I'm calling April Fools on that. Okay. I'm calling shenanigans. Okay. I, but David O'Brien is is like the main guy who covers him. He's not that he definitely way. Definitely is yeah. the athletic Braves be, be, guy. Be careful if you're going to go that route. Yeah. Uh oh. Well, anyway, with that said, <laughs> um, I like to look at sometimes when uh, opening day comes. Uh, the starting pitchers, and you, you one thing you definitely want to see attached to your ball club is a guy that you know. And if you don't know the starting pitcher for opening day, it, it can be a little worrisome going forward. You no, know, it's funny. I put in a, a you know, I've got a little FanDuel scratch just laying around uh-huh. in my account, so I put in an opening day baseball uh-huh. uh, lineup today, and uh-huh. I, I darn sure. I don't care how good the hitters are. I went to the six or eight teams today that are starting guys who had ERAs of about six last year. Because the other side of that is there's an awful lot of good pitchers pitched today. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, do you want to play a Philly against Max Freed, a Brave against Aaron Nola, a Nat against against uh, Jacob DeGrom, a yeah. Met against Scherzer, I assume? Who is uh, Chad Cool? Exactly. K-U-E-H-L. Yeah, He's a cool he, dude. Who's he starting for? I, I knew that. Is that maybe uh, – the Royals, maybe? No, but oh. you're on the right path. Yeah, is that's he the guy beef. starting against my that's team yeah. we'll for the seeing. Buccos? Yeah, that's it. K U H L, Chad Cool. I got a scouting report from intern Tim. He's a Bucks fan. He said, uh, "Not good." <laughs> the Bucks are terrible. <laughs> not that's good a, if that's your opening day guy. That's, that's terrible. What they what they're doing? What about Johnny Means? Johnny Means trotting out today. Who's he? They start? call him Means Business. Um, he means business. I'm assuming that's an AL guy. 
Uh, yeah, he's an Oriole. He'll yeah. be starting for the O's. Let's go. I did play a lot of Red Sox. <laughs> yeah, he'll be starting. How about Matthew Boyd? He's getting his opening day start. Oil can, we call him. Yeah, oil can <laughs> son, actually. A lot of people don't know that. They call him Lil Can. I love opening day, dude. I just love this. He's and the I, Tigers pitcher. I said this before. I mean this. If I could give any attribute of mine to Guggen Nation, uh huh. okay? Not relative. Mm-hmm. Many of them, by the way, you won't want. Mm-hmm. It would be my passion for baseball because it rivals anyone's passion for their football team or anything else. I, people don't believe us when we say that. I'm as excited about the Braves Phillies today at one as I will be about the Jags and the Texans That's, on opening day. We love it. And we I get 100 it. and see. And if you're a baseball fan, you get so much more than football fan. I mean, you get a game a day. It literally has baseball saved my life. I wouldn't make it through all these long, hot summers without, you I'd know. I'd be gone. I mean, I, I listen to me. Seven o'clock on August third, and the Braves are hosting the Brewers. It's that's that's a big day. I mean, yeah, every game it matters, especially if you're any good. Now, if you're no good, it, it's different, right? Mm-hmm. Your team's not contending; it's not any good. And this year should be, you know, a lot of fun because we we're, we're following contenders. Your boy uh, Jeff Passan has come up with the one. Well, a couple more. Oh, okay, keep going uh, for you. This is interesting. Now, this is one of Beef's teams. So Chris Bassett is getting the opening day start. For this club. One and, of my teams? Well, you got him in the playoffs. Oh. Yeah. I, I have no idea who Chris Yeah, Bassett the swing is. and the A's. Hound. The Hound. Which is, makes the A's playoff run even more impressive when they trot Chris Bassett Oh, I play there. at 305, by the way, not at 105. Oh, okay. 305. Uh, Marco Gonzalez, you know who he starts for. He's not exactly King Felix, okay? But he'll be going out there for the Oh, by the, the way, I saw the, I saw the King opted out again. Apparently, COVID's still rampant up there in Baltimore. Oh, he's not playing. King Felix, two years in a row. Hey, Felix, uh, that's it for you. No mm-hmm. parting gifts. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, those are just some of the – Brad Keller. He's not Brady Singer, uh, but he's uh, Brad Keller, and he'll start for the Royals. And he'll take on Kyle Gibson. No relation to Bob, in case you're wondering. At all. None. Can you guys? I, think uh, I saw Kyle Gibson pitch for the Twins once. In a, did in a, does he does he ring a bell with the Twins or not? I, I, I know about as much about the Twins as I do about you anyway. Know, he's starting Marco. for Texas. Well, there's a lot of guys here that you just are like who? Then of course you got Scherzer and Degrom, which is pretty good. Right. Yeah. Freed and Nola, pretty good. They're pretty mo- good. most of Bum them. Garner and Darvish. Yeah, most of them are pretty good. Most of the matchups are pretty. Beef good. Beef Darvish not starting for you. Uh, he is starting opening day, Dan. He plays for the San Diego Padres you now. You gave him away? We what'd got you, it. I, I what'd you get, Tatis, Tatis for him? <laughs> Did you throw in Bryant just four? I hate it. <laughs> Can you give me some pop quiz music? I have a pop quiz for the I two of you. So ready. Uh, the Who winner, has the best opening day record? Uh, no, that's not uh, it. Is that 39 the 39 and 20. Good for you. I'm, by the way, I'm rooting for you, Darvish, to go like 23 and 2 on the Cy Young. Are you? He yeah. got sent away for a bag of beans by yeah. a bunch of idiots. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. He's a great pitcher. I that love him. Yeah. All right, I have a question for you two. We're ready to play. I need you to tell me the National League team Mm -hmm. with the longest playoff drought. National League team. We can do that. With the longest playoff drought. Stand by. Uh, Beef, I'm going to run through them, and and let's just Uh, say yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to. We know the Braves were in there. We know the Nats have been in there. The Mets were in there. Phillies. uh, Fish were last year. Brew Crew's been lately. Uh, longest playoff the drought. Cubs have been League. there. What about the Reds? The longest in the, the majors. Reds were in last year. The longest. Okay. Yeah, we beat them. They didn't oh, yeah. score a run. They m- oh, might, yeah. might wish they hadn't. Pirates. Come. No, they've been in. They were Pirates in. Our, they were, get they were in that one game wild card. Dodgers. Certainly not. Seattle has the longest in the majors. It's an a- it's an NL West team. You think it's an NL West team? Yeah, because all these teams have been in. Unless there's no one with a long drought. When was the last time the D bags were in? What about the? Uh, when were the pod squatted? Weren't they in last year? Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, the G-Men, we know they've been in. The Rocks when was, The Rocks beat us in 18 or 19. They were just in. We'll go Diamondbacks, just off the top of our head. Whipping through it. Uh, the uh, Diamondbacks is wrong. Would you like to take another guess? Let's think about it. This team has not been in the postseason since 2011. So it would be 10, uh, 10 years. 2011. 10 years this no, year. the Giants, the Cubs beat the Giants in 16. Okay. Uh... It's really, it, it surprised me. That's why I asked the yeah. question. It, it's, it's shocking that it's been this long. You said, what about the this Phils? Te- I will say this. This team is relevant. Like, every year, you feel like they're kind of like almost a contender. Or the Phils. Gosh, it might be the Phils. It's the Phillies. Yeah, the Phils. 2011 since the Phillies made the postseason. Let's keep that streak alive. 
I'm with you. Bury him. I'm down. Hey, Philly fan. Sorry, Philly. Which fan. one of us had the fills in the postseason? Me, but I don't care. I did I, it that last was a fight year. Pick. You, you don't gladly <laughs> take that L. Heck yeah. I did that last year, and Joe Girardi. <laughs> you know, though, it might not be outrageous with Joe Girardi for them to start seeing some results. Did they keep Rio Muto? They did, didn't they? Yeah, and Harper. Yeah, they got Harper. Yeah. They got a decent top two with. Yeah. Um, uh, who's the guy that they got to pair with with Nola? Um, well, Wheeler. Zach, Zach Wheeler. Zach Wheeler. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, they're not bad. That's who the Braves open with. So, I, just a little fun fact about my opener uh-huh. uh, today. Um, Step on their throats. Who, who's going to win? Who's going to win the National League MVP, do you think? Well, it's no question. Well, okay. Besides <laughs> Lindor, if, if Lindor or Conforto or DeGrom or Pete. Polar Bear Pete. Alonzo. Yeah. If, uh, assuming. 60. Outside of the Mets, who's most likely? 60. Could this be Acuna's um, year, do you think? Who? Acuna? Is it Acuna Soto, do you think, this year? <sighs> sure. Yeah. Why not? Could be any one of a bunch of guys. I mean, that Soto is really good, man. Those two guys are. Oh, by the way, it's not on David O'Brien's main Twitter page. So, yes, yeah, someone has concocted this, and I've correctly sniffed out oh. the ridiculous April Fool's uh, prank. Uh, will be Freddie Freeman matching today as the defending MVP. <laughs> Well, whoever did yeah, it, good, good try. Guggen. By the way, we, uh, you know how long I've been searching for the Braves theme song to the point that you guys probably think that it really doesn't exist and it's just a miss, you know, I'm misremembering my childhood. Correct. There is a, a Guggen, one of my new Hall of Fame Guggens has sent me, mm-hmm. has found like a long piece and it has that theme song, you know, like to my version of Meet the Mets. Oh. Yeah, we found it, so we'll be able to play that later. I don't think Beef has gotten to it yet. We just okay. found it last segment. But when we do, you're going to get to see what I, the song that I fell in love with as a kid. Yeah, I haven't been able to pull it. I was busy yeah, concocting I know. I, a I, Dave I O'Brien that. tweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I tried to tell you I wasn't worried about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, whoever did it, I like that. It shake you up a little bit. No, it was uh, me. It was 100% me. It was you. Oh, you did it. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> April Fools, man. Uh, didn't work. You didn't. Are you mad you didn't get Woo! me? He didn't get. He's celebrating. Oh, is he not celebrating he too it. much? He's, it was enough. Well, it was a great effort. You thought about it for a minute. You you yeah. pulled up his Twitter feed. Yeah. That's, that's, an, that's that, quick. That's yeah. a win. Okay. Um, be careful. Be careful, friend. We have two and a half hours left in today's program. I guess the uh, I have an awesome April Fools uh, uh, joke, uh, Hick. When you go out in the parking lot, Beef's got four flat tires. <laughs> hilarious. Oh boy, that was it's hilarious. Mm. Uh. I guess if you're doing scoreboard, it's 21 to 18 now. Um, and that's the Deshaun Watson count. 20, well, what down struck, a field goal. What struck me about that is this. Who needs how 40 massages? How many massages, massages yeah. does the kid get? And how many do you need? Why don't you have a, a, a girl or a guy? Why Most don't you have one? Most players have one. Right? Like, I know, I know a young lady. She helped rehab me when I did my Achilles. She does massages for Jaguar players. Yeah. Wonderful yeah, you have one, maybe two. You don't have 40. Yeah, yeah it's, it's strange. So, you But know. I will say this. At least they did something. Yeah. Some response. At least you have 18 and said, I've never known yeah. who have literally worked. And, by the way, are saying who they are. Yeah. They're real people. You yeah. can you look them up. But, yeah, I thought the, the fact that you have 40 is strange. Do you need, I mean. I mean, that sounds like you're getting a massage a day. It does. I mean. I mean, and out of the season, you know, we'll have Doc Murphy coming up. How necessary and and you know current should massages be like how many do you need what is a what what helps or maybe that's not even a medical question yeah, you know, I, don't I, don't know. I don't know i just thought that was interesting i hope he's not getting you on game day he may run out of energy if you know what i mean oh dear um but yeah so that that came out yesterday as well uh, in the national football league and it just raises more questions going forward and uh whatever it's a mess and we'll see here come the here come the april fools Oh, Sean no. Watson traded. Yes, yeah, sure uh, is. Uh, uh, we got them all. We get you. Um, twenty twenty. <laughs> the Wilt Chamberlain of massages. <laughs> oh boy. Um, Lions president Rod Wood would like the NFL draft to be in Detroit in twenty twenty four. Okay, well, that'd be a good thing for Detroit. They ought to have it in Detroit. They're having it in Cleveland. We want to be a serious contender, and we're still in the mix for that. Hopefully, we can bring that to Detroit. And by then, everything's fully reopened, and we can have hundreds of thousands of people downtown. The event has host cities scheduled throughout 2023. Uh, it's this year. It is in uh, this year's draft is in Cleveland. Vegas gets the one after that, right? 
um, 2023 draft is in so Kansas. So that's when we're going to, once again, push for the importance of covering the draft. Kansas City. 2022. Yes. Right. So 2022 right. next we'll year. be back in. Yeah. yeah, next year. So we need to start laying the groundwork. Yeah. It, it will be our first yeah. trip in about eight years yes. here at 10XL. 10, 10, yes. 10 and we, we will pass on 21, yes. 23, and if Detroit gets it, 24. Correct. We are interested in 22. We'll be glad to be there. We'll be picking uh, about 28th next year, I believe, after a huge playoff run by the late qualifying, suddenly emerging Jacksonville Jaguars. That will be fine. That will be just fine with us. Uh, It's interesting, though, that we hosted a Super Bowl 18 years ago, and now we're trying to get in line just to get the draft here. It'd be fun to have the draft here. It would be fun to have it here, for sure. And we have a nice complex set up for it, too. Yeah. Even without the... Lot J. Yeah. I mean, seriously, there's enough down there going on that you could set up for the yeah, draft. You'd, for sure. You know, you have to take some setup. We're food trucks uh, city. We'll just pull all the food trucks food down trucks, there and have a baby. good time, baby. Come on, man. You know, I, got an, I got an idea. We'll bring in some cruise ships on the river. Why Call not? floating hotel. Sure. Yeah. Let them let the, let the boys stay there. Just bring some hor- let's just bring some horses downtown. Give people free horseback rides. Maybe some horses. Put some hay on our Maybe streets. Maybe we'll get Kramer and get we some. We need more scooters. Rickshaws. Rickshaws. Sure. <laughs> Do some yeah. of that. All right, welcome, so we'd like to welcome the NFL. We're going to cater it by bonos. Just all right, so down. it's uh, uh, McShay has posted his his mock. Okay. Oh, oh. So let me run through it for you. We real will. Quick. We will mock you. Is he uh, we'll following in line? Does he have? You know, Surpri- Kyle, Kyle Trevor Pitts Lawrence in the top four. One. Thank you. With the first pick, Trevor Lawrence, quarterback. The Jacksonville Clemson. Jaguars select. Sorry. Uh, the Falcons will not go quarterback. Sam Fran will go Mac Jones. Uh, the Falcons will take Pitts. I would I, listen. Don't get me wrong. I, I love that, but it, I would take Fields okay. if it were me. Uh, the Bengals go Chase. The Dolphins go Devonte Smith. Panthers move up one spot to get Trey Lance and Justin Fields. They don't eleventh take... to New England. Wow, I don't get that, man. So New England's moving up to get them there. Yeah, uh, yeah. They yeah, trade they up with 15. the Giants. I, I don't understand that, man. Huh? I, don't, I don't understand taking Trey Lance over Justin Fields, and I don't know what it is. There, what they're picking apart about Justin Fields, but I've watched him play a lot of football games. He doesn't look like he should be, you know, doing that. Our guy Morig, like that. our guy Morig's up there in the seventeen range. Tony's twenty, so let's see who the Jags take. Etn twenty three. Tevin Jenkins. Oh no. Ot from uh, Oklahoma State. Nah. No thanks. I don't be. want an offensive tackle there. No, I'll take we a already, defensive tackle. We already we signed, signed yeah. Cam, brought Cam. It's going to be a no for me, dog. Thank you. And we listen. We could take an offensive tackle, a couple of them. We got a lot of picks, but not there. We got uh, we got an interesting pick at thirty three at the top of the second round. Okay, that guy that you probably know his name, but we haven't talked about up here this high. Uh, Tutu Atwell. He's a little quick receiver from Louisville. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of a poor man's Tony, a little smaller. Yeah, Tutu Atwell would be. I know the name for sure. And then, uh, but they got Bateman going 37. Uh, let's see who we take with 45. And we get the tight end at 45. Freermuth. Freermuth. I so. think they would be happy to get out of this draft with him in that, in that second, with that 45th pick. Yeah. Again, though, you, you know, got so Rondell much, Moore going forty nine, baby. So Come much, on. so much about Freermuth is Come just on. so he's the only one. You Kyle know? Trask fifty two to the Bears. You hear me? Here's the yeah. part part of my skepticism with Freermuth. He's the only guy. He's the only. Well, one. here's my skepticism. Freermuth, a uh, Gasecki was more pumped up than Freermuth. And he's only been okay. Gasecki's okay. Yeah. So, anyway, all right, so uh, there's some sports concepts and resolutions. Got a lot more coming up. Doc Murphy on deck here. Let's do caller number three, B641010. Tell them what they're going to win. Caller number three right now, 641010. Going to go home with a family four-pack of tickets to the spring Jacksonville Boat Show coming up at Met Park and Marina, April 16th, 17th, and 18th. They'll get a $25 certificate towards services at Famous Auto and Tire, where you can join XL Primetime tomorrow and... Score your Trevor Town headbands while supplies last. And our winners this week are entered into a drawing for a chance at a pairing into this year's Coastal Equipment Guggen Open coming up Monday, April 12th at Hidden Hills.